Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. And thank you guys for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel we're looking at the next figure in Wave 11 of Origins. And that of Boltman from the Sunman family or line. And here he is. You see that Ruler of the Sun, Sunman sticker on the front of the packaging. Of course, the vintage red rocks exploding around him, like we see back in the 80s, the old school box art. The Master of the Universe logo with a new feature with the snake head coming out from above it, with the two snakes on the sides. You have the new bubble packaging with the snake scales on the packaging and the plastic bubble here, right there. Okay. Around the back, you see some amazing artwork of him taking on Camel Con. There you go. His action call out, his weapons that he, that he comes with. And of course, the other figures in Wave 11, single carded figures in Wave 11. And I have done a review for Snake Armor and He Man on my channel if you wish to go back and check it out. Back around, running the packaging, and there you go. Now, of course, with a new uh, wave comes a new comic, and here it is, the new comic that comes with this particular wave. And this wave, this comic is the multi-language, or international comic, because as, as you can see, there's no words, just beautiful illustrations. A brief summary, a quick look at it real fast. And, of course, the cross-sell of all the figures in Wave 11. single carded figures now. Alright. Now, this is going to be a, you know, somewhat of a quick review. Because, like, the other members of the Sunman family, which I've done on my channel, on my channel I'm just not really familiar with the Sunman brand. Um, it's, I, just, I just don't remember, as a kid, you know, the Sunman line at all until... They recently popped up in in Origins. They were you know become became the part of the Origins or He Man family. And I do have a loose version of him of Boltman. Here he is. And my actually my first experience with the Sun Man line was part of Pixel Dan's toy hunting video, where he found a vintage pig head. And. Uh, so that was my first real experience with the Sunman line until, of course, Mattel uh, made the Sunman brand or family part of the He-Man uh, family. But there he is. I just don't know, like, I don't, as a, as a kid, to tell you the truth, guys, you know, I think maybe I did hear about Sunman. I just maybe thought he was a He-Man knockoff, and I just didn't really particularly care, you know, as a kid about the Sunman line. But as, as an adult... And I think it's been a, an amazing line to collect. And I've been happy to collect all these figures from Sunman. It's been a real joy. But there he is. There's Boltman. Where's his... That you can you know, use as weapons if you wish. I mean, like, I'm so unfamiliar with the brand that I didn't know there was only one bad guy. In the in the in the whole Sunman you know line, which is Pighead, and you know, of course we're going to need that final three figures pretty soon. And I believe if you look at the Mattel Creations uh, website, there are some videos that show the next the, the final three figures coming pretty soon as a pre-order. Um, there is a video on the final three figures of the Sunman line coming. Uh, from Mattel Creations, if you wish to check that out. And I, you know, if you've been enjoying the, the Sunman brand, that's awesome. You know, I've been enjoying it. I've been really enjoying it, you know, I've been liking the character, and I hope the line will continue. You know, giving us more figures, you know, more feet, like some female figures, some more bad guys, you know, in the line. 
Well, they roughly stand the same height as, you know, the Master Universe figures, which is that 5.5 inch scale. You can, you know, twist the body, you can remove the head, you can bend at the arms, you can bend at the knees, and, the, you know, you can move around, you know, the boots. You can, you know, pull apart from the waist, you know. So I mean, I've been I've been really enjoying the collecting the the Sun Man line. I just wish I knew a little bit more about him, you know, from the old school days. I don't even know when they first appeared, what year, you know. It had to be somewhere in, probably in '85, maybe. I, I'm just guessing right now, guys. But there you go. There's good old Bolt Man. All right. Let's see if I can put one of his uh, weapons in his hand. Is it this way? Maybe I don't. Know. How would you put it? like like this? Maybe in his arm? How would you do this, guys? Let's take a look here. Let's take a look. Hang on. Let's look at the back of the packaging. Okay. It looks like it goes like like that. There you go. So how you been? How have you guys been enjoying the Sunman brand and stuff like that? I recently found my second Duplico at Walmart, so he's been showing up more and more now at Walmart. If you're looking for him, so I have my second one now, my loose version of Duplico. Of course, here's the other figures of the Sunman brand so far that I've done on my channel. Was, was, you got Digicino here, and then you have Pighead, and of course the main man himself, Sun uh, Sun Man. So here's all the figures I've done on my channel of the Sun Man line already. I've done reviews for each of these figures now on my channel. If you wish to go back and check them out, if you are interested in the Sun Man line, and you've been enjoying collecting this, these figures, I have. But there you go. Of course, we have a, a couple more coming, like Space Sumo, and Hypno, and Duplico. But there you go. There's one more shot of each figure so far that I have done on my channel. And I gotta say, out of the out of the Four right now. I think my absolute favorite right now is Pighead. I like the look. I like the color. He's pretty badass. Followed by Sun Man. Then I would say, you know what? I would say this is kind of a tie of, of Digitino and, and uh, Bolt Man. But if I had to pick one, I would do Digitino next. Followed by Bolt Man. So if, you know, as you know, ranking them as my favorite from my best, you know, from the my favorite right here to my least favorite right here. But like I said, I hope Mattel will continue the, the line of Sun Man, giving us more figures. You know, after the uh, the uh, the final three um, uh, figures coming out soon, and like I said, check out MattelCreations.com. They have a video on their channel of the final three figures of Sun Man coming soon as a pre-order. I don't know when that pre-order is, but it says pre-order on it. Alright guys, there you go. There was a look at Bolt Man as part of the Sun Man family. With the other figures I've done on my channel as well. Alright guys, I'd like to take the time out now to thank all my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and you have subscribed, please subscribe guys. I love talking with you guys. All things Master Universe, through Origins, through uh, Masterverse Revelations, through CGI. Hit that thumbs up button guys. And hit that notification bell when you know when I upload new videos. And tomorrow we'll be looking at uh, Ratlord, part of the Snake Men. I like to call it the Rise of the Snake Men brand. 
um, the first snake men. All right, uh, share this video, guys, who has a love and a passion for collecting Master Universe figures through Origins, through Masterverse, through CGI. So, guys, I hope you guys have a great Friday and a great weekend, and I'll see you guys on Saturday. Take care, guys.